OHR Direct. Zoe speaking. Can I help you? I haven't been paid. What's happening? Well, I'm sorry to hear that. That must be a, a difficult situation for you. Let's see if we can uh, help you. It's important we find out exactly what the problem is so I can do the best to sort it out and I'll need some information from you. May I ask your name? Trevor Bayliss. Thanks. Can I call you Trevor? Yes. Right, Trevor. Uh, I need your national insurance number for me to look at your records. Do you have that with you? Yes, somewhere. Great. Let me have that, then I can bring your records up on my screen. Um, oh, here it is. Um, FBA 4.573T. Right, that was a bit quick and it's a bad line, Trevor, but let me see if I've got it correct. F for Foxtrot, B for Bravo, 845573, and at the end, T for Tango. Was that correct, Trevor? I need to be certain before putting it into the HR system to make sure I'm looking at the right records. Yes, I'd have thought my name was enough. Can you hurry up? I'm about to go into a meeting. Okay, I'm uh, putting your number in now, and uh, I shall be as quick as I can. But I might need to ask a few questions just to make sure we can get this sorted properly. Right. Yes, it looks like you joined the company two weeks ago. Is that correct? Yes, and I'm wondering what kind of a disorganised place I've come to that can't even sort out paying me. I can understand how this must be very frustrating for you. I need to clarify what's happening before I can get to a quick solution for you, though. Can you remember when you posted the various documents to us? Yes, of course. It was the weekend before I started working here. You must have them by now. It's obvious someone in HR is sitting on them. So you posted them, I would make that on the, the 12th or 13th of last month. Yes, that would normally be plenty of time, but we have no record of the paperwork arriving here. Did you post everything together in one envelope, the acceptance letter, contract and passport? Yes, all in one envelope together. Are you suggesting I shouldn't have? I'll follow the instructions exactly. No, it sounds like you did everything absolutely perfectly. They don't seem to have arrived here, though. Oh, that's just great. How am I supposed to pay my bills this month? Well, if uh, I just spend a few more minutes with you on the phone, we can find an alternative route for you to get your money quite quickly. Just hang on the phone and I will take you through that. Hello, HR Direct. Zoe speaking. How can I help you? Oh, at last, I really hope you can help. I started working with you a little while ago, and I still haven't been paid, and I don't know how I'm going to pay my bills. So, uh, can you just tell me what I need to do, or how you can sort it out, please? Okay, so what are your details so that I can look at your file on the screen? Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, my name's Kate, Kate Simpkin, and um, I work in the Blackmore office on the third floor. Started uh, two weeks ago on the uh, Tuesday. Great, let me bring that up on my screen and um, make sure I've got your details in front of me, Kate. Uh, who is your line manager so that I can check we have, I have the right details in front of me? Uh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's Hardy, Hardy Tora, I think is uh, his surname. Okay, right. Yes, I've got your details in front of me. Um, it doesn't look like we have received the documents uh, we need to process for you as a new starter. When did you send all the paperwork in? Oh, blimey, I didn't know uh, you are going to know all that. Um, well, I guess I, I, it was probably about a week before I actually started. And, uh, yeah, I posted them um, at the weekend from my my local post office, I remember that, because they, uh, they all, all went into the same envelope. That's, that's the thing with my passport and stuff, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, okay. Now, um, it's, it's unusual that they haven't arrived yet. 
so apologies for the inconvenience with that but there is a way around this so that you don't have to wait until next payday though where are you at the moment kate so like right now yeah. i'm um, i'm up in the uh, baker street office in london but i'm coming back to blacknell later on today why uh, well, if we can get duplicates out and your manager to sign them off, then we may well be able to sort this out quickly. Uh, uh, that'd be great. I, c I can do it when I get in. I'm, I'm due to get back to Blackmore for uh, a half uh, two meeting. Um, but I, with my manager signing, I really don't know. I don't know what his, don't know what his whereabouts are. So uh, I can. Um, well, I'll tell you what. I mean, if you can get those to me in the Blackmore office already for me in the Blackmore office, then I can get them um, signed, and then I can kind of chase my manager and find out where he is. Meanwhile, kind of on the train home. That'd be really good. Okay, that's what we'll do then, Kate. I'll um, I'll get those sorted for you, and uh, then when you come back into the office this afternoon, if you can find out where Hardy appears and get them signed and back to us as quickly as possible, we'll get this sorted. Thank you for your call. Okay, Trevor. Let me just make sure I've got everything here so that uh, we can get this sorted. You sent all your documents back in one envelope from your local post office near where you live, the contract acceptance letter as well as your passport, a couple of weeks before you started and that was the weekend of the 12th, 13th of last month. We've got no record of receiving it here so I'm going to send you out duplicate documents which if you can get signed and get your manager to sign and authorise as well then we can get an interim payment sorted out at your bank. Uh, is that your understanding, Trevor? 